Today at Coyote Classics, we're going to be checking out this 1964 Chevelle Super Sport. This is an original V8 Super Sport to our own top from the factory. Got a nice dual exhaust sound, as we'll get to in a little bit. Just a nice, clean, turnkey driver. Underneath the hood, it's got power steering. Um, this is standard V8. Little Holly four barrel. Um, nothing fantastic as far as show quality. I mean, if a guy wants to spend just a little time under here, you know, repaint the black on here would be great. Um, it's got a high rise and uh, really runs and drives nice. I drove this back from uh, uh, storage just yesterday. Hood shuts beautifully. You're going to see a few little rock chips, stuff like that. It's an older restoration, but all in all, the paint has a great shine and just a fantastic look. Um, got a little paint imperfection right here at the very front. Got a nice gap front to back. Both back sides of the hood lines up nice. Um, as far as the front grill, chrome, stuff like that, the grill and all the eyebrow and hood chrome and bumper are all original. Um, still shine well, but uh, you can tell upon close inspection, it's got a lot of little scratches and stuff in that chrome. As we look up and down the side, really a pretty straight car. Um, it's got uh, some aftermarket American Racing old school wheels on it. Tires look like they got good tread on them as well. The big thing is this is a factory super sport, and a lot of them were six cylinder super sports. Um, this one happened to come with a V8, and you can decode that in the VIN. Couple tiny little bubbles right there. Other than that, very nice solid fender, rocker panel and door. All looks good as well. Got a rock chip there. A um, little chip right there as well. Other than that, like I said, in front of the rear quarter is great. Over the wheel well, I don't see any bubbles, blisters. Um, same thing in behind the wheel. From the back, this is what's gonna denote the Super Sport as far as appearance. Rear quarters and then the SS on the back. Again, all the factory trim on the back's original as well. So it's got some little pits, some little scratches, a um, little ding in the bumper back here. But the bumper still shines nice. And if you look up and down the side, just a great looking Super Sport. If you go to our website, uh, check out the undercarriage photos, www.coyoteclassics.com. You'll also see some photos of the trunk. Um, undercarriage original floor pans look really good. The trunk pan has been replaced um, and when they did it years ago it was not a factory pan. So that's really the only thing really holding this back from being a super nice car is that they use just regular metal in the trunk which you can see in the photos. Um, the headliner is super clean. Very nice headliner. Uh, rear sails are nice as well. Back door panels, back seat, back shelf. The seat backs themselves are beautiful. The dash paint is excellent. I really, really like the interior of this car. It's got an Indy four-speed shifter that shifts nice. Um, when they repainted it, they did a, a real decent job on the jams too. Corner of the door is good right here. As we look at the lower quarter, it's all in good shape. Bottom of the door fits good, lower quarter fits nice. As far as the rocker, lower fender, all that, it appears to be in really good shape as well. Uh, side molding trims, original. That's got a few dings in it here and there as well. Original door handles. Back side of the hood fits good. Top side of the dash is painted nice. That's all gloss black as well. Corner of the doors had just a little bit of work there. Not real, not real bad, but as far as the door rubbers are old and so are the roof rail rubbers. That's two things a guy can do by yourself, very inexpensive. Um, looks like they did replace the <clears throat> window felts. They're in good shape. Uh, door panels, armrest, base, pads, everything is all brand new and really nice. All right. Like I mentioned earlier, even when they painted the door panel pieces, all these are all painted. Just they did a great job. Mirror's nice and tight. Headliner's great. It is. So, horn works. Yeah, 
heater fan all moves freely, but the heater fan will not work. The radio works. Yep. Yeah. Uh, gas gauge works. Oil pressure's way over at 80 right now. We'll see on the temperature gauge once we get going. Let's check out reverse. Huh? You got me kind of blocked in. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna check the dome light too. I don't think. Nope, dome light is not working. So dome light and heater fan and and uh, looks like the amp gauge is working now. So heater fan, dome light aren't working. Nice tight pattern. Reverse goes in and out easily. Yeah, I like the shifter they got in it. Yeah, it's a low. I would personally have just a little taller, but. It, like you said, it's personal preference. Speedometer works. I'll let her warm up a little bit. Um, drum brakes. Brakes feel good. No pull left or right. Nice straight steering. Turn signal indicators work on both sides of the dash. Nice and smooth, isn't it? Yeah, like it's a good ride. The clutch feels smooth. Good power. It really does for this little small block. It's a yeah. really windy day today. Uh, the speedometer shows we're doing about 55 mile an hour. Yeah, Look how the old cobs out of it. Oh, yeah. It drives awesome. It really does. Like I said before, just a really nice driver. The interior is about as nice as you're gonna find one mm -hmm. with bucket seats, four speed, beautiful. Um, exterior paint, great looking car. Bright work could be redone a little bit. And like I said, they replaced the trunk pan and they could have did a better job there, which you'll see in the pictures. But other than that, I love this little Chevelle. Something you can jump in, drive and enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Um, temperature gauge just started working as well. So oil pressure gauge works, shows about 60 pounds. Temperature gauge is just coming up. Um, alternator gauge looks like it's charging. Pretty much everything works. Yep. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. And make sure you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.